Here I'm going to uh, run through the operating procedure for this uh, standard coil machine. Um, I, in the last video I went over the actual setup and the connections uh, for the various cables and wires. And so that should already be covered. Um, so now let's actually run through how to, um, how to actually run a frequency. So before we get started, notice how I want to point out um, each of the dials on the machine uh, are set to some default settings uh, before you get started. Up top here on the frequency generator, you got three dials. These are always to be turned uh, fully counterclockwise, uh, which is to the left uh, as a default setting. Down here on the amp, you've got channel one and channel two. These are actually always turned fully clockwise to the right. They're actually set on 33, which is the furthest clockwise setting. And then the, the coil fan is obviously, that's switched off. And then uh, over here on the right side of the capacitor, these are capacitor switches. And um, these are always to be down uh, as the default. So that's up, that's down. So those are your default uh, switch settings and knobs. And so now to actually um, run a frequency, uh, there's a couple of things that you have to have handy. Uh, the first is um, this here. This is a capacitor switch configuration table. This came with the machine. Uh, what it does is it actually shows you which of the capacitor switches on the right side of the capacitor need to be flicked up um, to correspond with the specific frequency that you're going to be running and you'll be setting that through the frequency generator. And so uh, for something like Lyme disease, uh, you actually have to get your hands on uh, some specific um, frequencies that have been known through the Lyme community um, to effectively treat Lyme. Um, in terms of, uh, uh, I guess the basic idea here is that the, the, uh, the microorganism, the, the bacteria that is Lyme disease, the, the Borrelia burgdorferi, uh, cannot survive under certain conditions of certain frequencies being emitted to it. So it, it's, uh, it's, it's the idea is that it will basically blast the bacteria apart. Um, but there, as you'll notice here, there's several known frequencies. And so, um, you know, there's, there's many, I think there's, there's well over a hundred different strains of Lyme disease. And so really it just becomes a trial and error in terms of uh, running frequencies and trying to find those that would actually produce a Herxheimer reaction in you. Um, when a Herxheimer is uh, produced, which could be a day to three days after having a treatment, um, as painful as that is, that's actually a sign that it's being effective um, because the the die-off is as what's producing and making you feel poorly, but that's actually a good thing when it comes to Lyme disease. So uh, let's run a demo here, and I'll show you actually how to how to use the machine. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I see here on my on my Lyme frequencies. Um, I'm just going to pick a random one here, and I'm going to pick uh, 230 hertz. Okay, and so. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is let's see if I can find 230 over here on my capacitor switch configuration, and I do. And I'm, I'm looking at it here, and it looks like it's it's literally every switch is going to be up except for the bypass switch over here. So again, I'm sort of finding it on the far left, the frequency, and then I'm looking here at all of the letters, which are the capacitor switches. And if there's an X, that tells me that that switch needs to be switched up. Uh, for this particular frequency. So in turning on the machine, you always begin with the frequency generator powering on first. Once that's powered on, next comes the amp. Simply switch that on. And then finally, you're gonna switch on the coil fan to uh, keep the coil from overheating, hopefully. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll come back up to the uh, frequency generator and you'll type in the frequency, two, three, zero, hertz. 
So that's the bottom of the three gray ones, H, Z, and there's a percent sign. That's 230 hertz. You'll know that you have it correct because here there's a little squiggly sign. Uh, it's the sign symbol that lets you know that you're actually running 230 hertz. Okay, the next step is to reference which of the capacitor switches need to be flipped up in order to um, correspond to the 230, uh, the frequency 230. And as I mentioned before, that's going to be every single one of them except for the bypass. So I'm going to come over here to the capacitor switches. And I'm actually just going to flip them all up. Except for bypass. That's this specific switch. Uh, excuse me, that's H. The bypass is the bottom one down here. So I'm not going to flip that one up. So here now, everything is, is prepped and ready to actually emit a frequency of 230 hertz except that we have to actually push out uh, some juice through this coil. And so in order to do that, we come back up to the frequency generator here and the far right knob, A-M-P-L, it reads. You're gonna turn this knob very slowly and as you're turning it, you're gonna keep your eyes on down here for the AC amps. And the idea is that this needle needs to be exactly at 15 amps. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm slowly turning the knob and I'm bringing it up to 15 amps, okay? Now that I'm at 15 amps, I am now emitting the frequency through the coil here. So the machine is now fully functioning here. So the idea would be again, that you would you know sit with a chair Right now, I'm about three feet away from the coil, and you would simply sit here uh, for the duration of the treatment, uh, which, by the way, is very short. Um, when I was performing a treatment, uh, through my own research, I found that the idea would be to, uh, to actually only do uh, three to five minutes, really one to five minutes per frequency. And so the coil, uh, it really does like to heat up. And so I never ran the machine for more than 15 to 20 minutes maximum, which is what was recommended to me. Um, and so what I would be doing is, is I would really be, let's say I was going to run five different frequencies for Lyme disease for three minutes a piece. That would be a 15 minute uh, session. And then, uh, and that would be it. I'd shut everything down. So in order to uh, move from one frequency to the next, let's say that that three minutes is over, I'm done with the 230 hertz frequency and I'm ready to switch to a different one. What you would do is the first thing you would do is you would actually come back up to the frequency generator and you would turn the AMPL knob back fully uh, counterclockwise to the left until the amps goes down to zero. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rotate the dial to the left. Notice how my amps went down to zero. You never wanna do anything with the switches um, unless the amperes here are down at zero. So now that my amps are down to zero, I'm gonna come over here to my switches and everything goes down, which is off. Okay. And so now I'm actually ready to simply change frequencies. So I'm going to choose just as a quick demo to show you one more time. Um, I'm going to set up the frequency uh, 390 Hertz. That's on my, uh, that's on my right uh, machine frequencies used to kill Lyme disease. This that I have here. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to find, uh, I'm going to find my frequency here on my switch on my ca uh, capacitor switch configuration chart and I see that it's going to be uh, B, D, E, F, and I. Okay, so the idea would be that again, now that I'm at zero amps, my dials, my AMPL dial is fully to the left. I would type in 390 HC for Hertz. And now I'm ready to come over here to the capacitor switches again. And I would simply flip up the appropriate switches and then I would come back over here to the frequency generator 
and I would rotate my dial, my AMP, uh, AMPL dial back up until my, my amps reach 15, exactly. And when that happens, then I would be, again, successfully emitting the frequency for 390 hertz. So uh, hopefully that made sense. It is uh, reasonably complicated, but it's very doable once you've done it a couple of times. Uh, now, when it comes time to shutting down the machine, uh, again, the first move is to, uh, is to always turn, turn the, the AMP dial, AMPL dial all the way to the left because you always want to bring your hertz back down to zero. Next, turn all your switches down. All capacitor switches are now off. And then what you would do is shut down the machine from the top down. So you turn off the frequency generator, turn off the amp, and switch off the fan on the capacitor. And the, the instructions actually do recommend um, unplugging the entire unit from the wall. Um, it is not recommended. Once you have things set up, uh, I'd leave it alone. I wouldn't be pulling out the, the coil in and out or the fan, just leave those as they are um, so as not to mess up the connections, uh, make them looser. But as far as the actual power into all of these um, components, um, it's recommended that that is actually disconnected from the wall. So hopefully that was, would be uh, very helpful for you.